welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to replace or change a bulging uh, capacitor. This is a common issue amongst electronics. So these are what they call aluminum capacitors. And this one right here is bulge, um, meaning the top of it is kind of curved upwards. And you can compare this to the others. This is what a, a good capacitor looks like. It's actually curved inward. You see, it's curved down like that. Um, so these are good, these are good. And this is the uh, new capacitor that I am replacing that one with, as you can see, is completely flat. Where this one right here, the one that we're replacing, is bulge. So it's not bulge really bad, but it's enough to cause this uh, ASUS router here to uh, actually become unstable. So if you have electronics that has been performing well and all of a sudden weird things happen, start rebooting or getting stuck, uh, this particular router start getting stuck. And if you open the electronic, you will probably find this bulging capacitor issue. And this is an easy fix. Um, all I'm doing is replacing it with the same spec capacitor so this is a 1000 microfarad 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor that I'm replacing here and uh, also keep in mind that negative is on this side you see this that marker right there negative so we want to make sure when we put this on that this negative is on this side and the positive is on the other side obviously so there's only two leads uh, on a capacitor so it's pretty easy and I have a soldering iron ready and it has been heated up. Uh, my son is gonna help me um, just removing the uh, capacitor by just uh, uh, taking it out from the leads here. Uh, it's this particular one right here. So this is really good. It's, it's away from everything else. So it's really easy to, uh, to remove. And uh, just gonna be removing it, putting it back and testing it. Okay, I'm gonna clip off the uh, the lead on this side so that we can mm, melt it easier. And uh, I'm gonna try to use a suction tool to um, hopefully be able to pick up the uh, the solder. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Do you do anything? Okay, I don't think that's going to be working. So I'm going to use a wick. I think this is what it's called. And the way it works is that I'm going to put it on top of it. And as the um, solder melt it it will be absorbed by the wick uh, i think that one works okay so let's try to pick one this one up so we're trying to suck up the solder into the wick so that we can remove the bulging capacitor okay I think that's looking better. Can you zoom in? Okay, so we just removed it. And what we're gonna do now is uh, clean up the hole. So it was here, like that. And uh, we're gonna clean up the hole uh, on this side by using the wick. 
So mm -hmm. we want to make sure that it's completely hollow before we put in the, uh, the new capacitor. So just use the wick and heat it up and get the solder to be uh, absorbed. See like that, that's a nice hole. And let's pick this one. Okay, still not enough. Make sure you are on the hole. Oops, it's stuck. That's a good sign, it's picking up something. Okay, still not hollow yet. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, installing the new capacitor. Make sure that the uh, polarity, so negative here, this white part is gonna be facing uh, to the right. So I'm gonna put the legs on the hole and uh, we're gonna start um, putting it in. Okay, I got the uh, the two leads uh, soldered here. They're pretty solid. They look kind of ugly, but I don't know what's going on with my soldering iron. It's just not cooperating. Uh, it's sticking all the time. Anyway, so I'm gonna clip it with the uh, nail clipper, and uh, I think this is it. All right, so I just turned it on and um, uh, tested it to just for the power light to turn on and it seems to be working um i'm not gonna do any of the tests yet but uh just want to do a power on test the power uh, the capacitor is on and uh, it seems to be powering up right now thank you for watching this video just want to show you how to replace bulge capacitors and uh, this is a pretty uh often case um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it uh, so that other people can also know how to replace bulge capacitors uh, issues. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.